Coverage continues now, and we turn to Jerusalem, and Haviv Gore's with us. Uh, Aviv has been reporting uh, live for the, the Times of Israel, and uh, you have some, your own perspective on this. I get this is the type of thing that happens in, in war where you have claims from both sides, but um, this hospital explosion, whatever caused it, has become, I guess, the story of the day. Any perspective you'd add from where you sit on it? Um, yeah, actually, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm interested to hear what the IDF spokesperson says, because um, in, in Hebrew to Israelis, as well as in English, uh, the IDF has not yet made a determination. Um, there are Twitter feeds from within Gaza. There's one called Gaza Report that actually talked about a misfired rocket. We know that some significant percentage, um, not a majority, but still some significant percentage of rockets fired from the Gaza Strip land in the Gaza Strip. We also know they are launched from near these installations. That's not even an Israeli claim. That's something that's very, very well documented. So we really don't know. We know that Hamas is saying what it's saying, but of course it wasn't going to say anything else. Uh, so I, I'm interested in you know what the IDF has to say about it, and if there's if there's footage. I think we do we do need to know exactly mm -hmm. what went down. Yeah, it's Lieutenant uh, Colonel uh, Jonathan Conricus, who's been with us the last couple of days and, and is supposed to join us live here in the next uh, few minutes. So we will put that question to uh, to him. Um, you know, it brings up the larger point of what we're dealing with in this war. And Israel had said this from the beginning, that once the, um, the attack from Hamas happened, that there was going to be retaliation and then there was going to be concern. And, you know, it would be broadcast around the world and media outlets about uh, civilians in Gaza. And that is something um, that, you know, obviously from a practical standpoint, Israel will say it has to handle and try to avoid civilian casualties. But also from a public relations standpoint in any war, it's something that, that the Israelis have to handle. How, how, what would you say about how it's going so far? I, I, you know, there are two things to say. One is to talk about the actual way that it's being broadcast to the world and the world is hearing it and seeing it and what those reactions are. And we can discuss the world's reactions, what it's seeing, what it's thinking. I think it's really important to convey the extent to which the Israeli public is profoundly unified about this operation, demands this operation. We just had uh, over 1,300 people slaughtered, children whose bodies are found burned, you know, next to their parents who were murdered. Uh, uh, a good friend of mine is in a, a crime scene investigator uh, who spent five days working through those bodies, hundreds of bodies, figuring out for each one how they were killed. And we have bodies, a significant number, more than half, that were tortured while they were being killed, burned and also shot and also stabbed in a single body. This is an event that will be remembered for a very long time. And in terms of the Israeli public, the Israeli army has infinite capital to get the job done. And the job is to decimate Hamas, to remove Hamas from the equation. And Israelis know something the world doesn't know. And they're a little bit immune to world opinion right now because of the scale of that event right. on October 7th. And what they know is that literally Hamas is only plan right now. It has no plan for survival except for hiding behind those civilians, under those civilians. We know that Hamas has set up checkpoints to prevent civilians from moving south from what is going to be the battle zone uh, with an Israeli ground operation. Um, and so, you know, Israelis are immune both to world opinion and to, I think, I say this, you know, Gazans are suffering terribly, but this is a Hamas crime against humanity that it right. is fighting from behind the civilian population. Aviv Gore, um, senior analyst at the Times of Israel. We appreciate your perspective. And again, we'll try to, the best of our ability, get to the bottom of what is happening at that hospital. Thank you for coming on today with us. Um, we very much appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.